Hi, Taurus Horror. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for anybody with Taurus placements in their charts. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave it doesn't fit for your situation, guys. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, and your donations. I'm sending you a lot of love and light and happiness to you on your journeys. <clears throat> Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other um, social media platforms, okay? So let's see, Tour Tour. I just heard I love you in my head. I'm never going to leave your side. Okay, Taurus. Who are you loving on? Let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, guides, and goddesses, please return and spell work. Any dark magic that is sent to harm Taurus and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, return it to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for Taurus Horror. And protect me as I send the messages for Taurus. Let's see, Taurus. What's going on here, man? 7 Eleven is on the clock. You guys could be seeing those synchronicities. Somebody here could be at the convenience store. Somebody could be at a 7-Eleven. Okay. You could be, be at one of the 7-Elevens where they have gas pumps. I don't know what kind of gas, but I'm seeing gas pumps. Okay, let's see. So we have coward. Excuse me. Zero carriage, facing uncomfortable situations, avoids, hides. Oh, oh okay. Robotic. Let your guard down. Show you, show your wiring and mechanics to the world. Peter Pan. Emotionally underdeveloped, lacks maturity, child in an adult's body. And then we have trap. <laughs> Set up. Proceed with caution. Somebody's name could start with a J. I'm listening to my son. I'm being nosy, y'all. Spiritual warfare and work. So somebody here. Oh, for some of you. There could be somebody here that's a follower, is what I'm getting. Like, I'm listening to my son. Sorry, Taurus. I'm listening oh, to see what they're talking about, child. Somebody here could be a follower or some shit, or it's say robotic, okay? Somebody, child, I, let's see. So, for work and spiritual warfare, so for some of you, your literal job could be to fight spiritual warfare, to defeat darkness okay like to defeat evil that could be what you do for work like dead ass and it's crazy because it's a quality time bond with your child through meaningful activities attention care and love child something about your child could be significant Let's see what this is, man. Somebody could be using children as a pawn here, Taurus, for something. Somebody is trying to... I don't know if somebody's trying to use their children energy to hide or something like that. Somebody here wants you to let your guard down or some shit. This person here has lost their damn mind. Like, they're doing everything under the sun to figure out how they can trap your ass and keep you stuck. Whoever the fuck this is. Like... And then they're trying to cloak themselves by using, like, magic... To make it seem like it's somebody else, but it's really them. Like, what the fuck? What's this coward here? So let let's see, let's see, because.
this energy been crazy as hell today. What's coward? The star with the death card. Aquarius here, Scorpio. So I feel like you're reaching a high level, uh, high level consciousness, uh, Taurus, or a higher frequency. I feel like your auric field is bright right now. Like you could be shining. Yeah, you could be seen in the public eye for some of you, or I don't know. Something about your energy is very healing. Okay, there's something that's been cleared out. Okay, with the death card or it's being cleared out. Something here is over, and I feel like your your vibration is raising higher and higher and higher. <laughs> okay. Well, can you charge this? I told you, yes, I can charge it when I'm done. Okay. Put the ball or put it somewhere. I'll get it. Your intuition could also be getting stronger, Taurus, with the Queen of Swords and the Moon. Your, your discernment is getting way stronger here. Your intuition could be telling you something, too. So just make sure you're listening. Let's see. What's the death card, man? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, something could be transforming here with your money or work. Things could be going, you could be going through a change here with your job, okay? I feel like um, in order to progress, something has to end or be over. I feel like it is going to end to regardless with that death card. That's a major. So it's going to end to any, anyways, okay? Um, this could talk about two self-mastery. So there's something that you've mastered about yourself here, Taurus. You've leveled up again in something. What's the death card with the Eight of Pentacles? Or you could need to put your skills to work here. So, you know, new levels, new devil source. So you could be guided to do some sort of work. Okay, to heal. Either it's internal or it's spiritual. Some of you guys are good with like magic or something like that. You could need to you could need to use um yeah, spiritual warfare and work. Some of you guys, this is what you're being called to do. You could be called to be spiritual practitioners or something like that to defeat warfare. Or you could be being called to speak out to others, do tarot or something spiritual with the star. But it doesn't have to be. Okay, confirmation. <laughs> okay, so the Six of Swords does talk about making pro progress, like healing. This is like moving into peaceful and calmer waters. I feel like you're definitely being guided right now. Yeah, because with the King of Swords in the Tower, there's some bullshit going on. Okay, it's like chaos here. What's the star? <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. What's the star with the Knight of Pentacles? The Three of Wands. Aries, Sun. So I feel like there is, I feel like you're leveling up here, Taurus. Like dead ass, I feel like your hard work is not going in vain. You're making progress, like big progress here with the stars. Some of you guys are getting like noticed or seen more, or it's like your healing power is definitely getting stronger. You're getting wiser. I feel like you feel inspired or motivated here to keep moving forward or to keep doing something, but your faith is very strong here. Your connection to source is very strong. Like dead ass. Your earth star chakra or your soul star chakra could be activated. I think I said that in Libra's reading. You could be dealing with a Libra. You always come out in Libra's reading anyways. So I feel like something is progressing. If you're thinking about moving, I feel like that's going to work out for you. If you've been working hard here and seeing slow progress, I feel like something is going to progress or move for you. Your hard work is paying off or something. Yeah, so, hmm, some of you guys, some of you guys are praying more, meditating more, okay, I keep zoning out, what the fuck, <laughs> hmm, it's like weird shit going on, what's this Knight of Pentacles, yeah, the Chariot, and the Queen of Pentacles. 
Yep, wow, and the King of Pentacles. Yep, your match. <laughs> okay, something is progressing, child. The chariot is like victory, success, um, moving forward here. Okay, this is like determination, willpower, drive. So there's something here that I feel like you're you're being patient for that I feel like is transforming for you. Something here is going to work out in your favor. But there's a death and a rebirth that has to happen or something has to end in your energy or around you. Or maybe a different way of thinking, being, or as a person or whatever. But I feel like there's some sort of victory and success here that you're getting with your work for sure. Your stability, your security, your finances. Okay. All right. Your skills here are getting ready to like, I feel like you're getting ready to work on something new possibly with the eight of, eight of Pentacles. You could be a healer. Definitely that. You could be a white witch here, Taurus. Whatever this is, is your purpose. You're getting ready to tap into something. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. You're getting ready to do something that's going to really, really set you up for success. Whatever the hell this is. So whoever is the coward, zero courage, facing uncomfortable situations, avoids and hides. So somebody here is watching you behind the scenes glow up or whatever the fuck this is. They ass is getting ready to get out of your energy. Just period. Yeah, four of pentacles, seven of wands. They holding on to something. Bitch, get the fuck. What's robotic here? Yeah, the king of swords. The eight of swords of temperance. Somebody is getting ready to be kicked out of your damn life. Whoever this is, it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. What's robotic here with the King of Swords? Or there's somebody here that's acting like they're nonchalant or whatever, or like they don't know what the fuck going on, but they got the truth. But but they, I don't know. This could also be Archangel Michael. What's the robotic here with the King of Swords? Yeah, the Three of Cups. <laughs> My son is so bossy. <laughs> He's a cancer Leo Cusper. His ass, the Leo shot, like, it's in him heavy. He got Leo everywhere in his chart. Very bossy. He's very much so a leader. But, um, somebody could be trying to control you or boss you around or something like that. I don't know why I keep referring to my child. I don't know why I feel like I need to listen to my child. Maybe y'all need to pay attention more to your children and what they're saying. Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. So I feel like this could be a celebratory time for you here, Taurus, or something like that. You could be meeting new people. Maybe watch out for somebody around you that wants to reconcile with you or something like that. You need to watch out. I don't know. Something feels fishy here. What's this King of Swords? The Three of Pentacles. What's this King of Swords, Three of Pentacles? You guys will be seeing 333, the emperor. Who the hell is this emperor? Who the emperor? The four of swords. Who's the emperor with the four of swords? Aries here. We got Libra, Jupiter, the two of wands. So I'm getting weird energy off this emperor. The king of swords is here because this is Archangel Michael protecting you from something. This emperor right here is the leader of something, but they damn sure ain't the leader of you. This could be a father figure here. Somebody is trying to plan for their future. Somebody's like planning two of wands with the four of swords. Okay. I feel like this is you. Aries, Mars. Let me see. Let me just click, keep clarifying. Somebody here could be asking you to marry them. What's this Three of Pentacles? The Ace of Swords, the Devil. Somebody is trying to come up with some sort of idea or plan. There's going to be like this breakthrough here that's happening though. Now that there's a breakthrough and you've learned from your past. You have protection here. You, you've you been have protection, but there could be some sort of extra protection because you can really level up here again. And I feel like this is going to be the biggest level up ever in life. This is the biggest glow up ever. So. The devil, the eight of cups, and the fool. You're getting ready to detach from some sort of negative or toxic energy, or you have. 
somebody here with the emperor the four of swords and the two of wands i feel like somebody is like sleep or they're not awakened it says robotic so i feel like somebody somebody i said somebody <laughs> somebody here is listening to third party energies it's like somebody here somebody here listens to what other people say and they go and do it you know what i'm saying whoever this is is a fucking loser Give me my crown. So there could be something significant about friends that this person is around. Y'all hear me? This is about power here. This person here is around people that they're they're fighting over power or something like that. Okay, I feel like you're the one that's powerful. Somebody here is trying to be crowned or you're being crowned here, Taurus, for something. Somebody here is trying... There, there's people that could be fighting here over a crown that they're trying to steal from your ass. You're, you have the power or you have the the secret sauce to something and there this person here is being guided by whatever the fuck they're being guided by friends family to do something to take something from you taurus somebody here wants you to let your guard down somebody's like coming up with a plan so you can let your guard down somebody's trying to catch you when you're vulnerable child get the fuck on Hold on, let me see something. 727 on the clock, Taurus. <sighs> okay. Yeah, the magician, the five of swords. The higher thing, yeah, the moon. Child, I can't make that shit up. <laughs> I can't make it up here. The magician, the five of swords, the higher thing, and the moon. This is a cult. This is a cult here. The nine of swords and the ten of wands. This is a cult that this person is listening to. They're following orders or they're trying to be initiated into something. That's why Archangel Michael is here. Mm-hmm. Somebody's like waiting or this is like some sort of ritual where they're getting together, celebrating or doing whatever the fuck this is they're doing. Okay. This is, this is some real, I said wheel. I can't even talk. This retrograde got me fucked up. This is some real weird shit that's going on here. Like, I'm serious. What the fuck? These people are seeing that there's a breakthrough here or it's coming. So they're trying to like do some sort of ritual. What's this day? What's this three of cups, man? What's the three of cups? You guys will be seeing three, three, three. Yeah, the page of swords. So somebody here could be getting a group of people to like watch you, get info, spy on you or whatever they say. Or somebody just did something. They just did a ritual and they're trying to figure out if it's working or not. What's the three of cups with the page of swords? Or somebody could be using their friends to spy or get info from you. They're watching you on something. You could be in the public eye or something like that, Taurus. Somebody's trying to get use people to get information. What's the three of cups with this page of swords? And then I feel like, because like my son, he on there with his friends or whatever the fuck. I'm about to tell him to get off that damn game. Okay. Something about your kids could be significant. You really need to watch out for your kids or something like that and see what they're taking in or who's around them or whatever the fuck. But, uh, 
they get in the game with their ass and then they get taken from. This person is getting taken from. They're being sacrificed in damn sales. Yeah, the world in reverse. Yeah, something it didn't work. Something here failed. This is like a disappointment. I feel I feel like somebody's watching you still celebrate. You're still moving forward. It's because you're protected and you will always be protected. Something here didn't work out. A plan or a strategy here to obtain some sort of energy. It, it didn't work. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. Something here failed. There was... This man here gets with people to have sex. This is some sort of sex cult here, Taurus. I, I keep picking that up. It's been coming out a lot in the readings today. I keep picking it up and it keeps showing up like so fast. I catch on to it so fast. My son helped me out in this one. I don't need no shield. Yeah, you could be seen in the public eye. Taurus, what the fuck? Okay, let, let's keep moving. Because this, this energy is crazy as hell. Somebody here wants to be accepted in something so bad. Whoever this fucking man is, this is not no real emperor. They're not. They're not. They're wearing a false mask. <laughs> What's Peter Pan here? Emotionally underdeveloped. Yeah, Five of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles came out again. <laughs> okay. Taurus Mercury, we got Taurus Virgo Capricorn child in an adult's body that's exactly who they are they just page of pentacles they can have earth in their chart taurus virgo capricorn this they clown ass okay five of pentacles here so somebody here is broke they fucked up they, they need help this is five pentacles that's the other pentacles that's six so somebody needs help or they want you to be generous or whatever the fuck okay but somebody has to offer up something first taurus <laughs> what is this what the fuck is this Five of Pentacles, man? This is... I cannot believe this fucking cult energy is coming out so heavy. That's 12. 7 and 5. What's that? 12 is what? The hangman. What's the hangman? Sacrifice, ain't it? <laughs> it's like... I can't make this shit up if I try, man. Taurus Saturn, we got Libra Moon. Somebody here got rejected or denied something. Somebody is stuck there in a stalemate. They waiting. Somebody is literally waiting to see if something is working or if something's going to take effect. Like, I'm dead serious. Somebody has been invested into this for a long time. This is the moment. This is like, whatever this is you're getting currently here, Taurus, it's like the moment that someone has been waiting for. Confirmation confirmation this is the moment here that somebody has been waiting for this had a specific time limit here whatever this is that somebody is doing you've received your harvest so they got tricked because they ain't gained on time whatever this is you're getting something is growing is being nurtured just period somebody is now locked out now they don't know what to do somebody don't know somebody don't know what to do who the fuck I killed the last person. Oh, They're playing Fortnite. Oh. Child, listen. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I actually like Fortnite, but Fortnite is a very spiritual game. And if it's if it's used in the wrong way, it could be bad. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on real quick. I don't know if I should answer this. Somebody right now, y'all, is trying to uh, log into my PayPal account. That's what this is about. 
Hold on, let me see. Taurus. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Child, somebody's trying to get smart. Somebody is broke as fuck. Look at that. You see how all this shit linking up together? I can't make that shit up. Y'all see me? I'm not editing this shit out either. I'm not editing it. I'm not editing it. Eight 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 two two one 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 six one. Let me see. <laughs> PayPal customer service can be reached at. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. I'm sitting on here doing this with y'all. Like, you see this shit happening in real time. Somebody is so... This this is a broke-ass bitch here. And y'all know I'm a tourist, sun and moon, child. This shit not coming up in this reading for no reason. <laughs> okay. So it says I Google contact... PayPal, it brought up this number. I called it, it was, and I called it and was scammed. When I contacted the real PayPal, they verified that this is their number, but couldn't explain how I dialed it and ended up in the hands of scammers. Ciao. 737 on the clock. It says, I got two theories. Someone inside PayPal is helping the scammers and selling information they have available. These scammers knew I had multiple cards on file, my phone number and first and last name. There has been some, or, or number two, it says there has been some type of breach that PayPal is not disclosing to customers. Baby, listen, I mean consumers. The scams involves Google, Pay, Google Play Store cards. I am very savvy when it comes to online financial info, and, I'm, and I almost fell for this. So these phishing attempts are highly sophisticated. Child, I cannot make that shit up, man. <laughs> I cannot make up what is happening in real time. People have been trying, somebody's been trying to uh, hack into my old Twitter account. I've been getting emails galore about them trying to hack into my old Twitter account. You bitches are bums. <laughs> I know y'all on here watching me, bitch. I know exactly who the fuck you are, too. Somebody's a fucking pussy asshole. They're a coward. They're definitely a coward trying to hide or get people to do certain things. It's fucking emperor. That's the leader of all this shit, bitch. I know it's you. This damn man. Some of y'all, this your baby daddy. Your baby mama. Okay. This is why they ask. Somebody here know that this day last days. <laughs> Somebody know. And that's why they like running around trying to like get all kind of shit. Let me see some of y'all. Hold on, Taurus. <laughs> y'all going to see this shit in real time, bitch. Okay. Y'all gonna see this shit in real time, honey bun. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Anyways, Taurus, so people trying to hack into your stuff. I can't be the only one. <laughs> okay, I feel like I look at all that is is fucking it goes with the reading. It goes with the reading. This could be a child here. Let me let me get back on track, Taurus. Let me let me get back on track. Nine oh nine on the clock. Nine eleven. Okay. So let me see. What's this two of swords, man? <laughs> What's the two of swords? What's the two of swords? <laughs> The two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's trying to get some shit back into balance. They're trying to get some shit back into balance. I feel like this is you balance, though. You guys could be seeing two, two, two. Somebody getting kicked the fuck out your energy. They getting kicked out your energy. What's this page of pentacles, man? Okay, justice in the reverse. That's what's coming for your bitch ass.
Somebody is trying to... I'm going to have to go out there and get him off that game. <laughs> okay, I am. Yeah, kids again. Something about kids. The Six of Cups, the Page of Cups. Okay. Justice in the reverse. Libra energy. Bad karma. Okay. Somebody here that just won't take accountability. They won't. Like, somebody here just doesn't understand that they're rejected. Whoever this is, whoever this is that keep watching you that's in this energy of feeling rejected or missing an opportunity with you, they just keep on trying to hide and cloak their energy. They think they're, they're so smart. This would be a fucking Virgo or a Cancer. Like, I'm so serious. What's this page of Pentacles with the justice in the reverse? Somebody here know that they're getting ready to get bad karma. So they're trying to re-strategize, replan some shit. That's crazy, ain't it? So, like, I have never seen... This is, like, so crazy. What's the page of Pentacles and the justice in the reverse? Yeah, nine of wands. So this is you needing to stay resilient, stay strong, Taurus. Sagittarius moon somebody could have. Stand your ground. You know, just keep, just keep moving forward. Somebody is so like, I don't even know what to say about this person. I really don't. This can't, this can't just be me, child. I mean, I'm your reader, but shit, we family. I talk to you like I talk to any damn body. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. What is this, uh... What is this trap here? What's this trap? Set up, proceed with caution. That's what I was trying to get to, that over there. Like, all this other shit. We see what this is, Taurus. What's trap? Okay, the Ace of Cups. What's this trap here with the Ace of Cups? The Sun. And the Seven of Swords. Leo Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone could have an Aquarius moon. Somebody here getting ready to get sent up out of here. I promise. Whoever this is right here, you know what I'm getting with this, Taurus? This is like the most beautiful energy. The sun and the damn, um, the sun and the damn Ace of Cups. This is beautiful, like healing energy, vitality. I I'm hearing like joy, happiness, freedom, success triumph okay a closer connection to the divine somebody is literally trying to hide in this energy that's what they're doing because they got trapped they got fucked up and now they're trying to run away from whatever they signed up for oh no baby <laughs> oh no you stuck in this shit and this person think they're gonna try to come in and, and and attack you and get something that you got absolutely the fuck not this person here has lost their mind somebody could be trying to trap someone with a pregnancy with a child too with that ace of cups the sun Okay, yeah, nine of cups. No, <laughs> no. What's the seven of swords here? This is the craziest shit I have. Like the energy is so like, dun, dun, dun. You know, kind of like energy, like it feels suspenseful or something. Okay, what's the seven of swords? Yeah, the queen of cups. Yeah, they needs this healing energy. What's the Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups? The Eight of Wands. The Ace of Wands to the Swords, Seven of Cups. They need some energy, boy. I'm telling you. Whoever this is, they need some energy. They need it. <laughs> like, they really need it. Bad. To power up. To keep continuing to what? Do the Five of Swords? Bitch, please. You ain't getting shit from over here, bitch. Yeah, two of cups, the empress, and the damn ten of cups. You ain't getting nothing from over here, hoe. Somebody right here crazy as hell. <laughs> I hear crows. So transformation, definitely magic is going on. That's not, I, I feel it. It's all in the air. <laughs> it's strong as fuck too. Like on top of all this other energy we feeling. So the queen of cups with the eight of wands. I feel like this is you moving forward very quickly. 
okay this is positive news coming in for you positive like communication or somebody's trying to reach out to you or somebody's just trying to hide in your energy that's a no like somebody is really just i, I don't yeah the king of cups here somebody here man this is what's the ace of cups the ten of cups child yeah some of y'all are getting married ten of pentacles the high priestess okay i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna leave it out here yeah whoever this is trying to contact you is blocked I, I don't know why i feel like this king of pentacles is a spiritual spouse they're a damn demon that you had connections to in the past life they're trying to bring their ass back in this lifetime and cause all this havoc okay they want to apologize or they want to play the victim or something like that definitely something about a child and a father seven of wands You say everything is fine here, King of Cups, yeah, in the in the Eight of Cups. Somebody here is trying to get you to walk away from your damn counterpart. Somebody that's in love with you, Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. So that way they can marry you and obtain some sort of financial wealth from you and be in this star energy with you. This is a fucking setup here. It, like I said, it's a setup. It's a trap. So don't fall for it. This is pathetic. Yeah, Three of Swords. Because somebody asked, no, they're getting ready to be Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. What's that? Ten and three is what? The death card? And don't that look like some nasty shit to you? Somebody here, somebody here is getting ready to go. They're getting ready to be sent up out of here. For sure. They're trying to do everything that they can to not get, to not be eight feet under. You got the ten of pentacles, ten of cups, ace of cups. There's a new beginning here with your damn counterpart. Your money is flourishing. Child, please. The way I wouldn't look back to the past at all for anything. Yeah, the Hierophant and the damn Four of Wands with the High Priestess here. With the High Priestess. Child, please. <laughs> What's the sun? A lot is being exposed here too. Yeah, Nine of Swords and the damn Queen of Swords. Somebody is scared that you can see their ass. Or you're going to call judgment. And I feel like you should. So hard slam that fucking whatever the fuck slam that bitch yes spirit i call judgment quick fast i would call judgment so fucking fast to make your head spin <laughs> like for real like dead ass i'm dead serious mm -hmm. i'm dead serious here <laughs> like I've, I've never been so serious so now somebody nervous as fuck they nervous because you see something you see it with the sun. You're very discerning. Bitch, I mean, I don't know why the fuck this person, they concerned about what you see. They need to be concerned about what God see, bitch. It's not even about you. Somebody need to be concerned about what, yeah, God see. Like, dead ass. Give me a... Uh... Give me a card here uh, for Taurus. Witch, Metaverse. I told you some of y'all are witches. And Resurrection, child. I can't. Child. Some of you guys were a witch in a past life, like I said. And you're resurrecting. You're finding out your true nature and who you are. Bliss, just though, passion, guidance. Some of you guys are being guided to study something. This is your purpose. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Either you're a practitioner, you're a reader, or you're something like that. So it says metaverse. The, the metaphysical witch is unlike any other witch as the, as the basis of the craft exists in the metaverse beyond the far reaches of the physical world. In the witch card, we see a small cauldron, colored smoke emerging from the lid while a hand slowly drips down a magical concoction of herbs. Each herb together creates an elixir of the planet. A tincture is an abstract of plant or animal material and contains a concentrated amount of herbal extra extracts. Somebody's doing magic to resurrect something. They're working with a group of witches to do this or they're doing this by them damn selves. 
It says this card appears when it's time to be very mindful of how you d are delivering messages, thoughts, and your general vibration output. Is your cauldron boiling over or sparkling? Are you producing thoughts that propel you into a ritual of a happy witch or a sad witch or badass boss witch? <laughs> if this card appears beside the food meditation card, it is a sign to take note of how you are speaking to yourself and what you are feeding your body. It may be time to incorporate some supplements into your daily diet. Okay, so the plant, the plant spirit is alfalfa. That herb helps you attract money too. I believe it helps you attract money. Mm-hmm. Abundance. I forgot what else it does. I gotta go read up on it again. So let's read Yamaya. This energy towards this is some real sick shit, man. I, I don't I don't even know. And then they're gonna call back to back to back like that. Don't scammers do that? Like if that was a real fucking call from PayPal. Somebody here think that you slow as fuck. Like I don't know what the fuck. And then they're gonna say the way that it's sent, they sent a voicemail saying press one. Like, no, bitch. Like, let me let y'all hear what this shit say. Let me let y'all hear what it say. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hold on, Taurus. An attempt to change the password on your PayPal account. <laughs> Come on. We have sent this automated call because of an attempt to change the password on your PayPal account. If this was not you, please press 1. It just sounds like some bullshit. <laughs> okay, my intuition always knows when there's some bullshit going on. Like, bitch, you're not getting no money. <laughs> you fucking broke-ass bum. Or broke ass bums, all of you bitches. How the fuck you work together in a group and y'all y'all ain't got no money, <laughs> bitch. Somebody here is just so fucking slow. So we have Yamaya is the river of Orisha of the Yoruba people of southwestern Nigeria. Oh, okay. <laughs> a queenly mermaid whose tail is covered by a seven layer skirt to symbolize the seven seas. Corals, crystals, tiny bells, and pearls adorn her outfit and her hair. A small cannabis wreath, as we saw in Agbaye, sits in her hand. This oracle's sacred number is the number seven, and her sacred animal is the peacock. Blue and white swirl around this car, creating a calming and contouring energy around you. Yamaya is known as the mother of all living things. She aims to bring comfort and cleansing to all who encounter her. On her chest sits a cannabis leaf because she helps mortals with learning to love themselves and healing for the emotional body. The peacock represents the feet and all the peacock represents the feet and of all birds symbolizes the traditional depiction of the phoenix, the legendary bird of resurrection that rises out of its own ashes. When beside Jim, Jimla in a reading, Yamaya's powers are amplified. When this card appears, it is time to take a walk by the river and remind yourself that you can too. I mean, that you too can rebuild yourself when the time comes to rise. Mm. <laughs> mm. Taurus, very weird reading today, but it was yours nonetheless. Okay. I'm not editing it either. <laughs> so... <laughs> this was your read tours i hope it resonated man hopefully you got some messages in it i know a lot of weird shit happened but hopefully it's it's confirmation for the things that are going on okay in your life too so this is your reading like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss my readings and i'll talk to y'all later bye